This is the JJO Morning Show Podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Hi. Um, when do you usually know that your day's kind of downhill? Like when are you like, man, today is a crappy day? Uh, like first thing in the morning. Yeah. First thing in the first thing in the morning. Um, when do I know I'm having a crappy day? It, what? So from the time I open my eyes. Um. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Is there a wrong answer? No. No. No, it's whatever you want, bud. Use my allotted time here. Um. Oh, so okay. you want a specific time? You want like a, an exact time? Yes. Yeah. So it would have to be fairly soon after I arise, open my eyes to a new bright day of positivity. <laughs> I don't know. My answer is I don't know. It's not acceptable. <laughs> it's I not can't acceptable. tell you. So does they? Is it an event or a time of the day? Just in a, a, a freaking time. A time John. of the day. What? So that's gonna, All right, you didn't answer in time. Well, so, now I get to shoot. So you. that's going to tell me what right I am having a bad. Stupid face. I don't think I have a time. I don't think I have a time. My my day is set by my own choices God, I make when I wake worse. up. I wake up and I have a positive uh, attitude and I feel good. Ugh. And then uh, so I don't know if I have a time. Yeah. I'm one of those people. I'm kind of the same way. God, are we assholes or what? I uh <laughs> Um <laughs> so so sometimes I'll wake up uh, cuz I've had a, you know, a dozen gin and tonics. Uh the night before after golf and maybe I am shouldn't have and uh you know it's i'm i for some reason i can't sleep and it's 2 30 in the morning i'm like what do i do I wake up and have another gin and tonic i i don't know um i'll be mad at myself but that's not the same as that necessarily means i'm gonna have a bad day like even if like i have a series of bad events happen when i wake up mm -hmm. like let's say like whatever you step in like a dog puke. So as soon as you, you're talking like, about bad things, as soon as you wake up. Yeah, like things oh. that like make like like you're like man, it's gonna be a crappy day. Well, anything short you know? of not falling down the stairs when I get up is probably means I'm gonna have a good day. You know. Yeah. Like if I step in dog puke, can't find my keys, my car won't start, I'm late to work. Even then, I'm gonna fight. I'm fighting the universe to have a good day. I'm like, I can turn it around. Wow. I'm going to turn it around. Holy you know what I mean? Toledo. Yeah. Uh, According a to a new survey, uh, the average person knows if their day has been ruined by 8.36 a.m. <laughs> well, I'm almost done working. <laughs> right? I'm making a tea time at 8.30. I don't, I don't know what you're all doing. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> Uh, it might be you sleeping past your alarm or that your coffee maker sucks oh. or you're out of coffee. I've had that before. Or maybe traffic is crap. Yeah. Um, the average person has four bad days per month. Oh. A 48 per year. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, the most popular responses for knowing how or why your day is ruined. See, there's a there's a difference between having a bad day and being in a bad mood when you get up. Yeah. Those, those are two separate. Well, and like things. your day is ruined. My day's not ruined. It's just like I should have went. To, why did I go to bed at ten thirty? Right. I'm in a bad mood now. I'm, but I'm not in a bad mood. I'm tired right now, but I'm not in a bad mood. I feel good. Like you're gonna have to try pretty hard to ruin my day. You're gonna have to try pretty damn hard. Yeah. Because like I'm all like, man, that like something will happen. I'm like, that sucks. But whatever. I'm gonna go do this now. You know. You know what I mean. I mean, I could have a. Uh, 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 so you had a bad day. So if I yeah, later in the show, if you told me like right now, you go, hey, don't forget there's that meeting at 11 o'clock. I'm going to be in a bad no, mood. We've had enough meetings this yeah, week. Yeah, I'm going to be in a bad mood. The meetings are part of the problem. You didn't even have. Meetings you... are the problem. Yeah, I know. Um. All right, here we go. Things we can settle in the hallway. We don't need a two-hour meeting. Quit up an email. Uh -huh. uh, stubbing your toe. Oh, let us not forget. Greg Bear. <laughs> yep. Greg Bear. You guys remember uh, Greg didn't come into work because he said he stubbed his toe the night before. And so I got three listeners on the phone as my jury. And I, and I, and I quizzed Greg like a defense lawyer.
or a prosecutor. And uh, the jury had to decide whether Greg was faking it. Oh it, it didn't come into work because he used stub toe as an excuse. That was that was <laughs> the morning we got my favorite line I think I've ever heard. That dude called in. He goes, "I ain't never seen a six foot four pussy before," and I about lost it. <laughs> case closed. <laughs> Prosecution rests uh, their case. Yeah, that was great. That was great. He ended up going to the doctor. It was it was legit. <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, and we just roasted him. For yeah, we just. He had a broken toe. Yep. Yeah, turned out, uh, a dude had a broken toe. <laughs> oh, that was We're fun. Such assholes. Yeah, that was fun. I can't even believe he took the call. What a what a what a sport. He I is. know. Yeah. What a sport he is. Uh, so number nine, these are the reasons, uh, that the average person knows that their day is ruined, which I feel like this is very extreme, but, uh, realizing you forgot to plug your phone in the night before. Mm. While we have a charger here, why would that put me, why would that ruin my right, day? Right, I just charge it on these the are, way in. These are little stupid things that should not add up. They shouldn't ruin your day. No. Sleeping through your alarm. It happens. Forgetting your wallet at home. That's happened to me before. I've called you and been like, dude, I'm going to be late. Yep. I got to turn around. I'm like, good. Donuts. Right. <laughs> right. This, all, this is all fine. <laughs> I see. I find the positive lining. In uh, running out of toilet paper. Ah, well, yeah. Well, that's why they made paper towels. Just, Just don't flush them. Use the towel. Uh, forgetting your phone at home. Uh-huh. You'll be all right. Yeah, not a big deal. Oh, my God. You can't go a day without your phone. Right. Oh, no. Losing your keys. Oh man, this happened to my friend well, uh, yesterday. That's more panicky than than depression. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is panic. I've done that before. I've done that several times. This is I've learned not to put my keys on a bar, and I'm bad about that. And Christy will pick them up, put them in her purse or whatever. But I'll, th- I'll just throw my keys anywhere. Yeah. We were at the Riley Tavern one night. Yeah. And I had my keys on the bar, and somebody accidentally thought they were theirs and picked up my keys. My car sat at the Riley for two days. Oh my God, no! Yeah, dude. I didn't have a uh, backup. Yeah, that's terrible. Yep, yeah. that gave me anxiety. It it gave me much anxiety, and uh, it was a convertible. We blocked the car in. <laughs> Oh, I, I say. Murph pulled two cars out and we blocked it in so somebody couldn't steal it. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. I did get the keys back from the guy that said, "Hey." I think I have your keys. My bad. Yeah. So I don't do that anymore. Well, that's good. I try not to. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, a friend of mine, the other day, her roommate took her keys to work with her on accident. Mm-hmm. So she, my friend, was got up, got ready for work, and was leaving, and went to grab her keys, and she's like, where are my keys? So then she checked everywhere and went through her bags and everything. And then she messaged her roommate, and her roommate was like, I think I grabbed your keys, actually. Mm-hmm. So then she had to find a, a way to get to her roommate's work and get her keys from her roommate. Goodness. Like, yeah, so she ended up being late to her job, which was like, oh, my God. But it's just mass chaos. Uh, number three, waking up with a headache. That does suck. Yep, yep, yep. And if you have migraines, that definitely ruins your day. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one I can see. For sure. Okay. That one I agree with. Uh, number two, sleeping poorly throughout the night. Mm-hmm. Okay. That might that might set you up for failure throughout the day. I get that one. Uh, waking up and feeling sick. Okay. The top three, I can see how those could be day ruiners. The rest of them are inconveniences. Yeah. Well, that's like being <clears throat> sick. I mean, right. you just, you're sick. What? Right. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to stay home and try to get better. Yeah. It's not going to ruin my day, but it sucks. Mm-hmm. COVID sucks. The flu sucks. Uh, what else? Yeah, COVID. Be I mean, I was going to throw in, uh, uh, it was in the car battery. My battery was dead. Yeah. Or some. But it was my fault because I was, I was having trouble with it already. Um, so that was a pain in the butt. Uh, but that was just a pain in the ass. Whatever. I don't know. It's just that's just life. It's just life to me. It's right. Whatever. It, expect the stupid stuff. It happens. And then it's all in how you deal with it, man. Right. Yeah. Uh, what is that? I mean, just stay- saying life is ninety percent. Uh, life is ten uh, percent what happens to you, ninety percent how you react to it. Just 
Stay Unless, of course, you're getting murdered. Stay calm and try not to get murdered. Those are my rules. <laughs> and if you're getting, <laughs> right. if you're getting uh, murdered, uh, I don't know. You're, you're, you shouldn't be out after 2 a.m. That's my rule. That's why you, sh- that's why you should be fine. Hi, how's it going? Hello? 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 That's a pocket dial. Oh, I'll try it again. I'm a sucker for punishment. Hello? Don't slap the small stuff. Yeah, so that is the most. And we find a, a, I've a, been able to understand that. You find a sponsor for him, like a like a medication or something, like a trank dart. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be something. Else. <laughs> uh, what else ruins? I'm having a bad day. It makes me have a bad day. I don't know. I don't know if I've had a bad day in a while. I mean, you know, somebody gets sick or dies. I mean, you know. Right, like that stuff. That's just obviously. not fun. That's depressing. Uh, but a self, more more of bad days seem self-inflicted. You know, like right. I, I drank too much. What You wake up, you feel like crap. The other stuff, like I think you just reach this point where you're like, it's stuff that's out of your control. Yeah. And you're like, I, I, I'm not going to let it ruin my right. day. I expect asshole behavior out of everyone. Right. And, and I just roll with it. Right. And I was like, well, let's see what because asshole gets it consumes in, in, you. In, in my way today. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Right. And it's like you have no bearing on my life and what I do. Right. So I, you will, you, there's nothing you can do that can bother me. Right. And all this. Or ruin my day. Yeah. Completely. Uh, all right. This was a good meeting. This is, the, this is a meeting I'll, I'll deal with. Uh, Tell me I suck at my job. Ain't going to work. My boss tells me that every day. I've accepted that I suck at my job. You do suck. Thanks. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, I've decided I'm going to suck the most. <laughs> so there. I have not begun yet to suck. We thought uploading to the cloud oh. was something completely different. Come on, the JJO Morning Show Podcast. Johnny and D. JJO. Yeah, buddy. Chung was huge. Do they have any other songs? Wang Chak. I had had, uh, had uh, dance hall days and uh, what's this one? This was huge. Everybody have fun tonight. Dance hall days. This was the bigger one, I think. And then they did that uh, to live and die in L.A. from the movie with uh, oh god, what was the dude in that movie? I can't remember his name. And they had uh, space junk and. Uh, Let's go. Let's go was a big one. You know what Wang Chung means? This is good trivia. No. If anybody ever asked you. They were nice guys. English like pop pop group. What do you think Wang Chung means? I thought it was somebody's name. I'm gonna quiz you and give you a pop. Literally a pop music quiz. I thought it was somebody's name. It's not. Anything in the vending machine on me if you know what Wang Chung means. On the house. I don't. And if you get it wrong, I punch you in the face three times. Okay. Um, okay, everybody, Wang Chung tonight. There you go. Um, you everybody, get, hang you, loose. Okay, you're you're warm without knowing it. I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody. I don't know. Every, uh, uh, just freaking tell kinda me. You're kind of saying it without saying it. Wang Chung means nothing. It means to be, to be. There is no meaning. Wang Chung is whatever you want it to be. So you were kind of dancing around yeah. it there for a minute. You know, wow. Like chilling out, just yeah. just being being in the moment. Just existing. The existing. Wang Chung is to exist. Yeah. That is to Wang Chung. So if you are, uh, if you Wang Chung, you are, uh, you're practicing mindfulness. Uh, wow. Boy, did you bring that home. That's good. 
That's Damn, good. brother. Yeah. I mean. They were ahead of it. Maybe that's how they explain it in China. I don't know. But Man, just Wang Chung. Just Wang Chung. That's why they say Wang Chung tonight. Just sh- let it. Just let it go, man. Wang Chung. That's awesome. Yeah, it's almost like, uh, what's that thing called where you uh, simplify your home? What's that thing called? There's a phrase for that. There's a name for that when you declutter. What is that called? Yeah, where you, and you're minimize, minimalize, you're minimalist. Anyways, uh, to Wang Chung is to free your mind and uh, just do, be do, present. Just be present, whatever comes natural. Wow. So. Damn, bro. I've been Wang Chunging my whole life. I don't even, didn't even know it. Yeah. Look at you, buddy. So everybody Wang Chung tonight. Uh, all right. So uh, there's a thing out from Wallet Hub. You know they do all these rankings on Wallet Hub. And uh, this one is on the uh, fun states. They ranked all 50 states on how fun they are. Cool. Yeah. Uh, do you want to guess which state is uh, the most fun? Well, I want to say uh, Florida because of Disney. But I also want to say Wisconsin because of inebriation. <laughs> so I, I like I, your reasoning here. <laughs> so maybe it's somewhere in the middle. I don't Florida? Know. But that's America's way. It is definitely Florida. Um. Uh, now, Wisco, we didn't do too bad. We're number 16. That's pretty good. Yeah. Oddly enough, Ohio is above us. Ohio is above us. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah. For what reason? Um, okay, so here are the factors. Um, <clears throat> they looked at 26 key indicators. They range from uh, movie costs to accessibility of national parks mm. to nightlife options per capita. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, uh, California, number two, Nevada, number three, New York, number four, Colorado, number five, Illinois, number six. Um, and then, yeah, we're 16 at the bottom of the list, as you might expect. Mississippi. Mississippi and West Virginia. Yeah. Um, Did you say New York's in the top five? Oh, yeah. And, and that's cost averaging things? New York is so, so expensive. expensive. So is Vegas. I mean, if you're not in Vegas, what are you, what are you going to Nevada for? Uh, you work in the military? What are, yeah. you, what, are you, what are you doing there? So Florida is the most fun state leading the country when it comes to the number of restaurants, amusement parks, arcades, and music festivals per capita. I mean, yeah, I, I was, if you're talking about outdoorsy, okay, I guess everybody qualifies except Nevada. <laughs> I right. Mean, I mean, I don't, what's the temperatures been out there? I don't know. I mean, Florida, New York, South Carolina, uh Right, Michigan, it, Nevada is it's mostly because of the nightlife. Yeah, for sure. Most nightlife activities per capita. Gotcha. Including a very high number of music festivals and casinos per capita. Well, right, and but I, I I'm just saying you, you put cost into there. Yeah. Of things, I think that would um, take it down a few notches. It has the fourth most attractions per capita and the tenth best variety of arts, entertainment, oh. and recreation establishments. Vegas. Um, I'm assuming Vegas has a huge part of that. How did Hawaii do? Hawaii did terrible. Really? Yeah. Because um, it's expensive just to get there. Pro- probably. Hawaii's number 23. That's amazing. I thought so, too. You'd think they'd give them a pass for everything just put it on the top 10. Right. Because we own it. Because it's Hawaii. We own it. Um, so we literally own it. Then it, So uh, this inspired me to go look at the most fun cities in America, uh, which we did pretty good. Milwaukee's number 40 on the most fun cities, and Madison's number 60. Hey, if uh, it's time to do an instant Johnny radio poll. Oh, my God. I love these Johnny. Three, two, one, zero, <laughs> 90, four, one. What U.S. state would you call me up uh, right now and tell me is worth visiting and why? Not Wisconsin. Somewhere outside of Wisconsin. What would be your favorite reason to visit what state? What would your suggestion be? Yeah. South Dakota's number 29. I just mentioned oh. that because we were just there. Sure. They and get that- the interstate done. It'll vastly improve uh, your trip there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alaska, number 20. Man, South Dakota gets really cool after uh, Chamberlain. Out at the Missouri River. Man, yeah. God, is it beautiful. You know, 
and we were just saying that on our way out because it's like so boring, so flat, yep. and then you come over that one hill. Yep, boom, and it's down just over the bridge. Like, it's a, it's beautiful. You're, it's like you're in a whole different state. Yep, different country. Totally. Yeah, it gets really cool. Yep, I yeah, breathtaking, really. Yeah. Um. What a picture. It is. What a what a vista that is up at the rest area on top before you go down over the bridge. God, and it was so hot. It was like 114 degrees. <laughs> and all those people were out in their boats. And there's, a, there's these people out. They had their boat, and they had one of them big pads anchored to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. ha, ha, ha. I want to go down there and be like, I'll drink mimosas with you all day. It's, it's, it, it puts in the, per, the Missouri River puts into perspective how huge the Mississippi River is. Oh, did you know that? Because the Missouri River is big. And then you're like, man, the Mississippi's about four of those. Uh-uh. The Missouri River is bigger than the Mississippi. No, it ain't. It, it ain't wider. Do you want to bet that the Missouri River I will bet you a total of five American dollars. No, I'm talking about average width all the way to the length. Come on now. Okay. Well, Dude, you on. get up near Fountain City, it looks like an ocean up there. Okay. Well, the Missouri uh, is considered to be the longest river in the United States. Oh, I didn't say longer. Okay. I meant just liter- just in, in mass. It's The Mississippi mostly is just huge from bank to bank. Uh, I'm not talking about length. The- Reaching how how wide do you think the Mississippi River at is? its widest? Yeah, man, I, this is crazy. This is weird. I'm going to say two miles, eleven miles. <laughs> Holy this crap! Is that crazy. Okay, okay, where is that at? Is it up in Minnesota? Somewhere? Hold on, hold oh, on no. let me look up. Eleven miles wide. Sure. I was trying to not sound like a dumbass. Oh my god! It's got to be up near. Uh, the Missouri River at its widest is 17 miles. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Where's that? So Near Sioux City. There's a... Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That's crazy. I'm an idiot. And the Mississippi's only 11? Yeah. What part of Iowa? Where? Where is it? At? Sioux, si- Sioux um, hold City? On. Yeah. The Mississippi River is the widest river in the United States, reaching a width of over 11 miles. Well, see, this says the widest. It depends on where you're going. Okay. Um, uh, at Lake Winnebagosh near By- Bina, Minnesota. Yeah. And this one says the Missouri River is the widest river. See, this depends. The home of water skiing. Um, yeah. uh, at its mouth near, 17 miles near Sioux City. Wow. Yeah. So different set of parameters, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Depending on how they measure, probably. I'm sure. Well, either this way, is, they're two big well, bitches. Well, uh, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe that's maybe it's uh, uh, the parameters are one is dammed. Although I know the Mississippi's dammed. Yeah, I don't know. There must be a certain set of rules on how there, they measure. There them. must be. Either way, whatever. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, that's impressive. <laughs> I know because we looked it up and I was like, if you would have asked me, I would have thought the Mississippi River was the longest, widest river yeah. all day, every day. I would have answered it on every mm-hmm. trivia thing. And then we looked it up and I was like, oh my God, the Missouri is the longest, flowing right. more than 2,500 miles from its source on the eastern slope of the Rockies. Well, I digress, my friend. Isn't that crazy? Hi, how's it going? Hey, I'd like to answer your question. Uh, Oregon. Oregon. Uh, now, there you go. Yeah. Because it's tax free, mm-hmm. weather's nice. Um, I used to live there. Where did you live? And don't problem. I lived in uh, Coquille, it's uh, south of Eugene. Mm-hmm. And what would you do uh, for? No uh, what you do for fun there? Uh, go to the beach. Uh, go to Austin Stadium. Mm-hmm. Um, go to Portland. All right, so you were on the coast. That's a coastal yeah. town. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would imagine that's beautiful. I've been to Bend, Oregon, and Redmond, and all that stuff, and I highly recommend it. I'm trying to get a group of beer lovers to go to Bend with me because it's like our sister city on crack when yeah. it comes to craft bro. Henry, Henry Weinhardt's is the best. All right, good call, dude. Thank you. Why? Why are you? Why are you here? Why are you here? I've met my wife online, and I moved to Illinois. Sorry, <laughs> dude. Didn't make the list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck with that murder rate. All right, uh-huh. man. Thanks, bud. Uh, Duluth, Minnesota, somebody said. I've been visit. to Duluth. Yeah. Have you been up there? I haven't, but it's it's on the list. I've been there twice. Uh, 
And I will tell you, it is uh, it is a lot of fun. The craft brew, casino. You can run up Lake Superior all the way to Canada. It's one of the most, there. There are waterfalls up there that you will not believe yeah. on the, on the way to Canada. Well, within a mile hike off the off the coastal road. Yeah, that's my that's my jam right there, you, you, dude. You need, and I'll tell you, it takes some time to get up there. Well, hell, it takes five hours just to get to Duluth. I think. Yeah. So you need you need so you need a week, week and a half to see all that. Can and the. You can ferry, right? Isn't there like a ferry thing that goes? Oh, uh, we didn't. I didn't see a ferry. Oh. The only ferry I saw was Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbing down your smartphone. One podcast at a time. Listen, rate, and subscribe to the JJO Morning Show Podcast. Get up with Johnny and D. JJO. Oh, no. Phil Collins died. Phil Collins uh, working on first new music in over 20 years. What? That's what I said. Well, he couldn't even get out of the rocking chair at this. this. Right. 73-year-old Collins has retired and unretired a few years ago in recent years and uh, played what appears to be the final Genesis show. Uh, but uh, he's been focused on reissuing his older music. 30th anniversary box set edition of Both Sides arrives next month. Oh, but now. Teaser track. Now. For the first time in a long time, Phil Collins, reportedly. <laughs> working on some new music. Nice. He hasn't released any new solo music since the soundtrack of the 2003 Disney film Brother Bear. I can feel it coming in the air <laughs> tonight. But maybe that'll change soon. I have seen, have you ever seen Phil Collins? No. I've seen him probably, a, I don't want to say a dozen times. I bet eight or nine times. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's always stopped in Madison, played a lot. Played at the, uh, was that the Cole Center? No, Coliseum. Can't remember. Fun shows. I would totally. I mean, you just freaking, you know every song, you know? I would. By default. 100% <laughs> freaking go see Phil Collins. I mean, I would say that uh, In the Air Tonight and Don't Stop Believing are probably the most air-drummed, sang-along songs in the world. Without a doubt. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It took her song. <laughs> <laughs> it took her drums. It took her drums. Uh, Casco people, I hate to throw this on you, but uh, the pumpkin pie is back. Oh, so yeah. You're we, all going to gain 15 pounds. We have our first uh, pumpkin pie coffee creamer in the fridge. Yeah, it's happening. Christy snuck that in there. So yeah. I, I drink it right out of the out of the jug. Well, friggin' two weeks ago, I was at uh, Wally World, and uh, the gosh darn Halloween shirts were already out. Oh, yeah. So uh, yeah, they're... It's, it's here. Pop-up it's... stores, Halloween stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on, man. Mm-hmm. Phil Collins. I'm actually happy to hear that. Yeah. He's probably got so much freaking musical ideas swirling around in his head. I mean, you know? And uh, I don't, whatever. some kicked him in the ass, and I'm happy for him. It's just his uh, his dang body. Yeah, his body just kind of broke down in his hands, especially. I think it was his back and arthritis. Wasn't yeah, it? in his hands. Yeah. Um, think about all the music Genesis over the decades that never got heard, never got released. Right. Sitting in a vault somewhere, you know. It's just hundreds of songs, probably. I think about that sometimes, like. All the artists out there. Yeah. Like, how much music is just, like, stored away? But then it's like, well, how much of it do we really want to well, hear? How, how many hits, how many songs do you have to make to get one hit on a record? I'm talking about records, you little TikTok punks out there. I know you don't know what those are. Someday you'll discover that, make a video, and tell me how it works. I get it. Christopher Columbus. <laughs> but uh, how many songs did a band have to make to have one hit, two hit, three hits? Right. And then what you call filler for them are still great songs. A band would kill for those songs. Right. You look at like a Def Leppard pyromania. It's like every song's a radio hit. You know, mm-hmm. how many, how many, how many songs? Oh man. And they were prolific. I mean, a band like Genesis, they could turn a song out. It's like breathing, you know? Pretty then, cool. It is. Artistry. And then do they get 
I mean, because how many bands have covered Genesis? They have a lot of bands that have covered them. Mm-hmm. And you had Peter Gabriel split off and do his thing. Yeah. I know they always talked about getting back together, but I think Phil's health was the problem. And then right. his, he had a, his wife was uh, quite the douchebag. Yeah. She set him up. Remember the Florida drama with at the house? She wouldn't leave the house? Yeah. Whatever happened with that? I think he had her killed. Good for him. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes you just got to do it. Yeah, you know that I would not lend a hand if you were drowning. He did not lend another hand. Yeah. Threw her in the drink. It's like my hands hurt. Yeah, this will be fun. I'll have to see what he's up to. And maybe it will be a different style. I mean, it will be more of a hosier. <laughs> You're stuck on hosier. Yeah, it's seven degrees of hoser. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I mean, I don't know I anybody. That. I don't. Do you know a soul that doesn't like Phil Collins? Oh, if I if I met him, I'd punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> like, how dare you? All right. Um, all right. Voting closes tomorrow for this year's Hambone Award, recognizing the strangest pet insurance claim of the year. It's the 16th year that Nationwide Insurance has done it. Uh, they named it Hambone after a dog that got itself locked in a fridge for several hours and ate a full holiday ham. Oh, yeah. It was treated for mild hypothermia. Uh, last year's winner was a cat named uh, Giles, who needed stitches after being folded into a sofa bed. <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't been there? Uh, no so kidding. That's, a, that's just a mere college hazing these Edgedels, days. Edgedells, I've been folded yeah. into that sofa Edge, bed before. Edgedells, I have been folded <laughs> into the hideaway bed. <laughs> uh, this year's list of finalists is pretty dog heavy. Um, no cats. So here we go. Let's go. Dive in. Uh, Sky, a Great Dane in Oregon that fought a weasel and lost. It oh. bit him on the eyelid. Oh, my. He made a full recovery. Luca, a dog in Massachusetts, uh, ripped into the trash and ate a corn cob. He's okay, but corn cobs cause intestinal blockage. Mm. Lambo. You eat corn cobs the long way, don't you? Oh, that's it's been a long time, John. <sighs> no, I'll not. Last weekend. A lab mix in North Carolina ate 250 pieces from a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> but only the loose pieces. The corners and the edge pieces were already assembled, so he left those be. God, you'd think a dog would even want some flavor and, and <laughs> yeah, something, know. you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, weird. Uh, Kodiak. It's a dog in Virginia that won't stop eating rocks. She had to have four removed from her stomach a few years back, and then she decided to eat two more. Wow. Irma, a dog in Florida that had to go on a high-fiber diet after eating tiny, sharp pieces of metal. They think it was bristles from a barbecue brush. God, dog. Oh, wow. Ooh, that would hurt. I yeah. I just think of that coming out. But I suppose the barbecue brush was tasty. Yo, it had oh, sure. You just try remnants. to yeah, wolf it right down. You know? you know? Clover, a parrot in New Jersey. She got her claws tangled up like... Uh, Tying someone's shoelaces together. Oh. A vet had to untangle her claws. <laughs> She's like, I don't know how to work these things. <laughs> um, bear, a corgi in Pennsylvania, chewed on a bottle of nail adhesive. It was basically like super glue. Oh, oh my Lord. Archie, a dog in New Jersey, got excited that the mailman was there and broke through a plate glass door. <laughs> wow. Dude. Wow. Let's see that on the ring. <laughs> right? So he needed some stitches in his paws. Oh, my God. Damn. I feel pretty you say those are insurance that. claims? Yeah. Interesting. Pet insurance. I have insurance on my horse. I have two insurances. Much, I have a colic care insurance, which oh, is just how much? How much is that? Smart pack. That's just the colic care is for up to fifteen thousand dollars if he colics, and that's just with a supplement that he gets every month. What's your deductible on that? That's a zero deductible. Really? Yeah, because it's just. What do you pay for that? It's fifty bucks a month for his supplement. That's incredible. Yeah, and then the well uh, worth the money. One hundred percent. And then the other one is, um. Uh, it's, I think it's for up to six grand, and I think it's just like ten bucks a month. And I can't remember all the stuff that's for. It's like if he gets loose and damages crap and does Jeez, whatever. No wonder you're always broke. Yeah. <laughs> Horses. Get get five of them, kids. 
Your parents will love to do that for you. You know what you need? You need Pick vet. a hobby. You need Pick vet. the most expensive you one. You need vet call insurance. That's what you need. I'll, be a, I'll drive out. It's $150. Come on out. Oof. It's because they always do it on a holiday. Yeah, always. They're not dumb. Hey, is it Sunday? Yep, I think I'll colic. This will be great. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll colic twice. Once in the morning, once in the evening. You're not doing anything today, are you? you oh, got, you're on vacation? You got like 2700 bucks to blow? Good, I think I'll colic twice today. <laughs> It's going to be a great time. Oh, you got some extra money? Uh, Not anymore! No. All that money you've been saving? (laughs) Yep. All right. Uh, Well, yeah, the pet insurance, I know a lot of people have been going for that just because of vet bills be crazy these days. Yeah, it seems like a a smart uh, policy to have. Yeah. A little older pet. Mm -hmm. What's the cutoff on the horse age? Did they... Is there, um, and who's it through? Who who provides that? The colic stuff? Yeah. Is through Smart Pack. Smart Pack. Okay. Never heard of that one. Do they do a lot of animal stuff? No, I think it's just horses. Interesting. Yeah. Now, and that's now, just a supplement. they don't pick the vet, do they? No. You pick your own, you use your own vet, right? Yeah. Interesting. Would yeah. it be weird if a guy uh, showed up in a, like a, a, a van that makes keys? That would be. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, we're sending Bob down. He's like, ah, ah. Yeah, and I think that's just like a reimbursement. Plumbing and colic service. Bob. Yeah, he just shows up with some fish in I mean, line to tie off the intestine. I mean, both kind of the same thing, right? Yeah. Um, we have a text in. If you have insurance on your horse, does Danger have insurance on his giant horse wiener? <laughs> <laughs> um... How do I answer this? Uh, my, well, the simple answer is I wish. It's uh, let's be honest. I have no horse wiener. I I've heard stories. I've heard tales. Not me. Not in the cards. Not in the cards. No, you can't have good looks and a giant no, horse wiener. No, no, no. My wife is just with me for my charming personality. It has nothing to do with my horse wiener. Right. But. Uh, you know, I'm hoping it kicks. I'm hoping puberty kicks in here in a minute. That <laughs> the thing drops. You know, yeah. right now it's horrible. The JJO Morning Show podcast with Johnny and D. Listen, rate, subscribe. Catch a new show every Monday through Friday, six till ten a.m. on ninety four one JJO or streaming anywhere in the JJO app. Johnny and D. Nowhere but JJO.